meron po na akong announcement in celebration of my 100 vlog. Okay, um, I will be doing a Zoom a live consultation slash sharing session with my viewers. So, um, before, tatlo lang kayo, pero hopefully ngayon maging 10 na ka na tayo. So, yun. If you are interested to be part of my Zoom live soon, please, please to put your email account or Gmail account below. So, yun. So, magkakaroon tayo ng Sherry or get, uh, get to see your chow chow. You get to see mine live. Pwede kong sagutin yung mga tanong nyo for an hour. So, there. So, I will be adding you guys up. So, probably on my 99th vlog, I will be announcing kung anong date at time tayo mag-zoom live. Okay, so kung gusto mong sumali, kung gusto mong may bago kang chow chow, gusto mong i-share sa amin, yun. So yun, please, please do join below. Um, I'll see you there. Mom! Okay, so before anything else, comment of the week muna tayo. So the comment of the week uh, will come from Gatsha Hinata. He says, Hi po ate. Kakapanganak lang po ng chow-chow namin. Yung isa po, di gumagalaw at di na humihinga. May chance pa po ba mag-survive siya? So, the reason why um, in-open up ko tong topic na to or ginawa ko siyang comment of the week is that okay, so hindi naman po ako fully like expert with dogs in general. Um, I share to you ko ano man yung natututunan ko siya mga trainers ko and sa um, obedience school. Um, I'm not a, a licensed vet po talaga. No? So, to be honest with you guys, para minsan, ano, um, nag-worry talaga ako kasi sometimes yung mga ganitong mga urgent na mga situation, kailangan talaga dumidiretsyo na tayo sa vet. Dapat hindi na tayo nag uh, Facebook or hindi na tayo tatanong sa groups or hindi na tayo nag um, alam mo yun, nag-search pa sa YouTube ng mga remedies sa mga ganitong urgent situation. So, right now, if your chow chow is pregnant or will you will be expecting puppy soon, please, please, please make sure na meron pong guidance ng inyong vet. Kasi kung halimbawa mga nganak po yung chow chow nyo sa inyong house, dapat alam nyo talaga yung procedure. Um, again, just a trivia, um, I've had dogs since I was a little girl. I couldn't imagine my life not having dogs growing up. But, um, trivia po, never po kami nagkaroon ng girl na dog. So, oh, lahat po ng dogs namin, um, kahit ngayon na may family na ako, lahat po boys. So, I really did never had an experience with um, a pregnant uh, dog. However, yun po talaga ako more of care and uh, yun sa health po nila mentally and physically. So, hopefully, um, nag-okay naman yung puppies mo, uh, especially yung mommy niya. So, there. Ngayon, na 2 years old na si Theodore, uh, basically, we consider him an adult dog already. No? So, 2 years old. Although, forever naman siyang baby sa akin. Um, yun, merong mga slight changes. So, ito yung mga bagay na ginagawa ko to keep him healthy as an adult chow chow. So, let's get started. Number one is that we walk him as frequent as possible. So, minimum of two walks a day, two to three. So, paano ba yun? Paano ginagawa yun? So, morning muna, yung morning walk niya. Tapos, afternoon, around uh, 3 or 4. Tapos, may gabi pa siya. So, usually, yung gabi talaga for peeing lang. Pero, nilalabas ko siya. Ngayon, sasabihin niyo sa akin, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Napakainit po sa labas. Yes, I understand po. Um, again, we live in a colder area. That's why afford namin i-walk si Theodore ng ganong time. Malamig po kasi dito. Um, but, yeah. Um, kung kaya nyo as frequent as possible, yes. If not, kung di nyo kaya, uphill or stairs is like the ideal way to exercise your dog. Yes po, they're very... Um, 
low energy. Pero napansin ko po talaga na si Theodore talaga, malakas talaga siya. The doctor explains that it's really his physical activity that keeps him strong talaga. So, yung walking uphill. Actually, we live in a condo. We have an elevator. Pero hindi kami nag elevator Going up and down, we use the stairs. Para talagang ma-exercise si Theodore. So, yun. Yun yung mga little things na kapag medyo malahan na yung chow mo, dapat tinitignan mo. Okay, number two is play more often with your chow chow no so connected again siya dun sa aking tip number 1 no so um every night walang palya to i always play these two things so number 1 is after meal um i let him rest for a while no oh, tinan niya siya Okay, nagpapa. Nagpapalambig. Paano naman tayo magbablog dito, anak? After his meal, an hour after his meal, we always do zoomies. So, ganito yung zoomies na sinasabi ko. So, I usually play with him with the toy. Or, ang isa sa mga, bless you, ang isa sa mga favorite niya, yung tag. Yung, yung, may toy, tapos magpiplay ka. Not good, not now, ang tag. So, yun. Yun ang, yun ang, you lagi namin ginagawa. At, it's not enough that you walk them. Dapat to talaga kapag adult dog, kan talaga yung, yung ma-exercise talaga yung mga puso nila para mas tumibay pa sila. So, that's another thing na dinala sa namin growing up. So, we add veggies more often sa diet ni Theodore. So, kahit anong veggies pa yan, broccoli, alam niyo naman yan, pwede naman i-search. Yung mga usually na ginagamit. Pero, favorite ni Theodore yung squash. The other week, lagi kailangan may squash tayo. So, yeah, vitamin E. So, show ko lang sa inyo. Ito, ganyan. So, papakuluan mo lang. No, do not add anything else. Ganyan. Tapos, minamash ko lang yan. Tapos, dinadagdag ko na sa diet niya. So, oftentimes, kailangan mas maraming nutrients talaga ang isang adult chow. So, yun. You add more vegetables. Aside from the supplements. I also add fruits to his diet. Um, kung before, napapanood niyo ako na yung parang healthy snack ni Theo for his healthy diet niya, for his guts, ang pinibigay ko lang is Greek plain yogurt. Ngayon, dinadagdagan na natin. Hindi na siya a la carte. So, ayan, pahitao kayo. These days, ang ginagawa ko, nagmamash ako ng any healthy fruit na pwede sa kanya. Ganyan, minamash ko. Tapos, dinadagdagan ko ng um, uh, yogurt. So, Greek yogurt. So, love na love niya yan. Favorite niya. Try niya yan sa mga chow-chow niyo. If not yogurt, yung, um, unsalted or plain peanut butter. Yun. Pero, um, like for example, sa banana, uh, ito yung ginamit ko. Do not feed your chow-chow a whole banana. Half lang, once per day is okay. Kasi hindi nyo rin araw-arawin. Kasi kailangan pag, again, pag nag introduce kayo ng snack or food, unti-unti muna. Tapos itingnan nyo yung reaction ng tummy ng, ng dog nyo uh, through the poop. Which goes to my next tip is monitoring his poop more. So, since yung past tips ko nga is giving him a lot more supplement through fresh food, fruits and vegetables. Doon ko minamonitor kung okay ba talaga yung binibigay kong um, uh, other supplement sa kanya, no? So, titignan ko yung food kung mabaho ba or for example, nagtai siya medyo malambot, tinatanggal ko agad. So, doon mo lang makikita kung okay ba talaga. Ngayon, if it's the, the consistency of the poop is firm, it's still the same old looking poop, um, then, continue nyo lang siya. So, next tip is, I hydrate him even more. So, before, parang two times ko lang pinapalitan yung bowl niya. Pero right now, that he's a huge dog already. Parang three to four times talagang pinapalitan ko yung tubig niya. Um, hindi pa rakit nasa malamig na lugar kami, eh, hindi siya inuuhaw. Or, na hindi siya nauuhaw. Next is, usapang supplement naman na tayo. So, yes, 
Ang dami yung tatanong kung ano ang vitamins ni Theodore ngayon. Matanda na siya. So, ito, pet taps pa rin ang kanyang vitamin. So, uh, as what I've told you before, mas makakamura ka talaga pag malalaki yung binibili mo. Kasi yung maliit, alam ko, parang 60 tablets yun. So, sabihin natin, 2 months lang yun. 60 tablets. Yung malaki, it's 180. 180 siya. So, ilang months na rin yun. Do the math. So, yo, now that he's bigger, we give one tablet every day. So, aside from that, since matanda na si Theodore, meron tayong ibang supplement. So, kung kinafollow niyo si Pony, ma'am, nagkaroon na tayo ng issue sa po, nagkaroon na tayo ng issue sa tenga, ang dami na natin naging issue, the castration and everything. So, ngayon, more of like prevention talaga tayo. So, ang dinagdag natin na vitamins kay Theodore is tanan, vitamin C. So, ito, mas na talaga to pag adult yung dog nyo kasi um, mainit o malamig ka nakatira talagang viral ang mga sakit, especially sa mga dogs natin. So, yan, tinatablet ko siya. Now, 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 now. Kung hindi talaga kaya mag-tablet, to me kasi it's very quick. Alam, sanay na, sanay na siya. Tinan mo yung tingin niya. Theodore, you want? So, yun, parang mas secured ka lang na hindi talaga basta-basta magkakasakit yung chow-chow mo or yung dog mo. So, ngayon, kung nahihirapan talaga kayo sa tablet, meron pong mga um, available na ascorbic acid na bottles na pwede nyo tanongin sa vet nyo. Pero, yeah, I highly suggest na magbigay kayo ng additional vitamin C. Okay, last tip po ni Mami ni is never ever miss brushing your dog's teeth. So, share ko dito. Ayan. So, Tanong nyo, ilang beses po nyo tinututbrushan si Theodore? Um, two to three times a week kung kaya yan. So, uh, so, ang tanong na naman, paano ko napaamo si Theodore sa brushing time, sa pagpubrush ng teeth? Stenart ko, maliit pa lang siya. So, ngayon alam niya, hindi na ubra sa mami niya yung kagat-kagat. Kasi, kahit anong mangyari, eh, talagang, I must still do it. Okay, so marami talagang um, marami talagang mga instances na nakakasakit yung aso niyo bigla. Tapos okay naman siya maglakad, okay naman yung poop niya, ganyan. Yung pala ang issue na sa ngipin na. Again, ang ngipin po, um, inooperahan niyan kapag na puno po ng um, cavities and tartar. Um, inooperahan. Sensidate sila tapos talagang dinidental ang um, pag-clean. Normal naman yung parang may mga onting dilaw pero hindi yung parang meron ng separate tooth na dilaw. Gets? Parang naka-extend. Sanay din sila. So, start them young as much as possible. So, there you have it, guys. Hope you may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy ni and kay Theodore Bagoy. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at funnymomph at gmail.com I'll see you again on my next vlog.